In this month's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, you'll gain a complete understanding of how different CRC or cutter radius compensation types are set in Gibbs Cam and the effects they have on your machine tool while cutting your parts. This will ensure that the part that you cut at the machine tool is what you intended to make, not oversized or undersized by the diameter of the tool due to incorrect setting in Gibbs Cam or an incorrect offset value at your machine control. There are three mil CRC types that can be set in Gibbs Cam, tool center, tool edge, and finish profile. Typically, most customers will use only one of the three settings throughout their shop and will do so consistently on every part run on every milling machine. So let's go ahead and take a look at tool center. Offset by tool center is the default setting when installing a new version of Gibbs Cam and by far the most popular and easiest to understand. It can be found right here in your document control dialog. With Tool Center, the machine coordinates output by your post processor will always be for where that Tool Center is traveling, including any specified stock amounts. That being said, the initial value entered into the cutter radius or cutter diameter offset parameter on your machine tool should always be zero. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like. So after machining your first part, if it measures oversize or undersize, you'll need to enter a positive or negative value into that cutter radius or cutter diameter offset parameter on your machine. Entering a positive offset moves the tool further away from the part, giving you a little extra stock. Entering a negative offset moves the tool closer to the part and will cut in a little deeper. For instance, if your part measures 5 thou over, you'd enter negative 5 thou as a diameter offset amount or half of that as a radius offset amount into your machine control in order for the next part to be machined on size. Likewise, if your part measures 5 thou undersize, you would just go ahead and enter that 5 thou. One thing to understand is that when you select a different option for CRC, the actual toolpath on your screen will not look any different. The difference is in the posted G code and how Gibbs Cam outputs that G code in relation to your tool and the part. The tool edge, this setting is primarily used by customers who are trying to mimic the method of cutter compensation that they used when programming parts manually, right? By putting in all the G codes by hand, but without being concerned about stock amounts. With tool edge, the machine coordinates output by your post processor will always be where the edge of the tool is traveling, including the stock, unlike center, where it was calculating the center of the tool, this is where the edge of the tool is in contact with the part. That being the case, the initial value entered into the cutter diameter or cutter radius offset parameter in your machine control, it should always be equal to the tool diameter or radius. Again, depending upon whether your machine expects cutter compensation offset values to be specified as diameter or radii. So as you can see, the toolpath looks the same. Like I said, when we select a tool center, it's important to know that you can't depend on the render toolpath to show which CRC you've selected. Once again, after machining your part, if, the measurement, if it measures undersize or oversize, you'll need to increase or decrease that offset value for your at, at your machine control in the same way that I just described for that tool center. Although the visual representation on your screen will not change if you do change the CRC type, there is a way to see the line the G-code will follow. In Gibbs Cam, it's very easy to do. I'm going to start a new work group. And all we need to do is right mouse button click on the toolpath. And at the bottom, it says Op2 Geometry. When we do that, we can see now that we have that line that represents the line that the G code is going to follow. Again, this CRC was set to tool edge. The final choice we have is finish profile. 
This setting is also used by customers who are trying to mimic that method of cutter compensation that they used when programming parts manually. But in this case, they also want to allow the operator to control stock amounts rather than depend on the Gibbscam programmer to control the amount of stock. With Finish Profile, the machine coordinates output by your Pro's processor will always be for where the finished wall of the part is. Some refer to this as part print coordinates. While this may be a preferred method of manual programming, seldom is it, or tool edge for that matter, used in shops that utilize CAM software. With Finish Profile, the initial value entered into the cutter diameter or cutter radius offset parameter on your machine control should always be equal to the tool diameter or tool radius plus any desired stock amount. As always, after machining your first part, measure it and make sure that the appropriate adjustments are done at the machine. Once again, note there's no visual difference in the rendering here, whether I'm using the center, the finished profile, or a tool edge. Okay. So one more thing I'd like to mention is uh, CRC entry line validation. That's up here in our document control also. Turning on this option causes Gibbs to check. It checks to make uh, certain and make sure that the entry and exit line length is greater than zero on every operation where cutter radius comp on is checked. The reason for this is simple. If cutter comp on is checked, but the entry and exit line length is zero, you'll either receive an alarm at the machine control or the offset will be applied during the first line move of the tool path, which could produce an incorrect part. It is our recommendation that you use Tool Center as your setting and always set your initial CRC offsets in the machine control to zero. Doing this, you'll typically get fewer alarms at the machine and the first part off your machine will usually be very close to the correct size. Thank you so much for watching this Gibbs Camp Tech Tip. And if you have any questions about this or any other issues related to Gibbs Cam, please contact your local Gibbs Cam reseller.